Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. For today's pour, I was trying to think of something to do that was, you know, just different from what I normally post. And I thought, why don't I do a pour in my least favorite technique? And so that's what we're doing. Um, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, um, you know that the ring pour is my least favorite technique. Not because I can't do it. I can do it. Um, I just find it boring. That's it. That's the only reason why I don't like it. It's just not enough excitement for me. So, I don't do them very often. Um, the last time I did a ring pour was, mm, I don't know, at least six months ago. Um probably longer than that but that's what we're gonna do for this video um just to see can i do something that i don't like and still be able to appreciate it i guess that's the goal of the video I'm not entirely sure do we have to have a goal no can we just do art for the sake of art i think we should just do art for the sake of art anyway <laughs> um I picked a very simple color palette for this just because I don't when I when I look at ring pours the point of the ring pour is the rings and that structure so you don't need like a crazy color palette to take away from that um, so I picked a pretty simple color palette and um, somehow my pearl green color just completely got lost um i don't know what happened to it all the other colors ate it bless its heart um i also pulled out some black artist love flow acrylic that's probably what ate the pearl green um and i also used white artist love flow acrylic but in the white i added a little bit of satin enamel like you'll see my squeezy bottle i added like a tablespoon of satin enamel to it um, and I also layered it in this coffee cup. I seen a lady here on YouTube doing paint pours using a coffee cup. Like, it's just coffee cups you get from the service stations. Nothing fancy. Um, just recycle them. If you, if you get coffee at Starbucks or service stations or whatever, just recycle your cups. Um, and I, I didn't subscribe to her channel. I feel awful because I try to give people credit when I see them. You know, and I and I use something I learned from them. Absolutely, try to give them credit, but I don't know her name. So if anybody knows who I'm talking about, she does a lot of pours with coffee cups. If you know who I'm talking about, please put her channel name in the comments because I would like to go subscribe to her. And you know, if I do something using coffee cups like this, like I've seen her do, I want to give her credit. But um, yeah, I just layered it and put it in the coffee cup. I will say, using the coffee cup with that little spout does make doing ring pours so much easier like helps your ring stay way more uniform and you're able to cut off at the end and keep those dribbles you know the horrid dribbles that always seems to ruin a ring pour it makes it way easier to catch those and, and prevent that so um the satin enamel looks really really pretty in this not because it does like those crazy cloud pours that we're used to seeing satin enamel do but because it just like speckles through the navy blue and it looks like stars in the sky and i thought that was really pretty um i did try to keep my center like centered but alas it went off the edge i could not hold on to it but i still think it come out pretty cool um I like this cadmium red deep hue. Well, I don't understand why it has to be such complicated names. Quinecrodon, magenta, where doxazine. What are they trying to do with me? Don't they know that? Honey, no. Anyway, I can't expect them to rename all the colors for my convenience, but you know, it is what it is. But sometimes I get tongue-tied. Anyway, <laughs> um, I like that that um, red color against that navy. I think it looks really, really pretty. 
Anyway, so this is how my ring pour turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm not mad at it. It's all right, I reckon. Like I said, I hadn't done them in months, but um, I think I still got it. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. Do I still got it or not? Anyway, um, yeah. So, this is my least favorite technique. The beautiful ring pour that I just can't appreciate in all its simplicity. Because I want funky stuff going on. And I want cells. And I want wiggles and squiggles. And yeah, all that good stuff. Um, and that's not what you're going to get with a ring pour. So if you like simple, if you like structured, um, you'll like ring pours. I just don't, I don't like them. I don't like the rules. I don't like the boundaries, which is crazy because my whole career is made up of abiding by rules and boundaries. Nuts. Anyway, a paradox. Anyway, um, I am... I'm a little bit tired. Can you tell? Oh, what was I gonna? Oh, oh, the Christmas lights. I hope you guys like that. Um, I, I took mom to see them the, the other night, and she really enjoyed them. So I thought you guys might like them. But these are some close-ups, and see, look, they're like little little stars. Oh, I think they're cute. Anyway, here you go. This is my ring for. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will speak with you all very soon. Bye.